Hey, in this video, we're gonna take a look at KuCoin. We're gonna see the spreads, the fees, the features, deposit, withdrawals, and much more. It's gonna be a deep look. And we're gonna compare it to the competition, most importantly, so you can see how it stacks up against other crypto exchanges. Now we've collected thousands of data points across over 20 crypto exchanges, so you can compare everything side by side. We're gonna use all of that info in this review. Now this industry changes very quickly, so if this video is out of date, just visit our website to get the most up-to-date stats, comparisons, and reviews. Now let's just jump into the actual review. Now, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, here is the overall review. KuCoin is very similar to Binance in the fact that it has lots of features. You can do staking, margin, there's trading bots, there's lending. They have their own token like Binance Coin, which is called KuCoin Token, which lets you get discounts on the exchange, higher interest rates on KuCoin Earn. So there's a lot of stuff you can do on the platform. The only difference from Binance is KuCoin is still very laid back with its KYC. So it's available in 200 countries and there's no restrictions. Basically, anyone can sign up for it. Binance has been getting banned and dealing with regulators. So if you want access to a lot of stuff, laid back KYC, and still have a big platform that's one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the world, KuCoin is a good option for you. Now let's look at each section more in depth. Okay, a quick background on KuCoin. They're a global crypto exchange offered just about in every country, over 200 countries in the world. They recently just hit over 10 million users worldwide. If you go to coin market cap, Binance is obviously number one. So KuCoin is up there with all the big platforms, $2.4 billion traded. And on the platform, you'll find a bunch of features. They have their own token called KCS and the KCS token itself has a $1.6 billion market cap as of today, and it ranks number 70 out of all cryptocurrencies on coin market cap. So it's a top 100 coin. So that leads me into security. If you've never heard or used KuCoin before, you might be wondering, are they safe? Can you trust them, etc. So let's go over a few things. Here's the security compared to all the other platforms. KuCoin was founded in 2017. It's been around a few years. There's no info on if they use cold storage. You just couldn't find it on their website or any official sources. Most platforms do use some form of cold storage. So I assume KuCoin does, but there was no info there. They do have an insurance policy, which I'll get into in a second. Any hacks or incidents? Yes, they had one really big hack in 2020 for $285 million. This was hacked through some of their hot wallets. Luckily, no customers were affected or lost any crypto. That's because KuCoin was able to recover 84% of the funds and their insurance fund paid back the other 16%. So no customers actually lost any crypto. After the hack, KuCoin's CEO said they made improvements to their security and platform architecture. However, it's it's a good reminder just in general why you shouldn't hold large amounts of crypto on any exchange as you can see on the list just because there's a hack doesn't mean it's a bad platform Binance has been hacked coinbase has had an incident in 2021 and more than half of these exchanges have had some type of incidents so the good thing is kucoin handled it and repaid all its customers they recovered the funds no customers actually lost any funds if we look at the company's security features there's not a whole lot of info now they have a partnership with the on-chain custodian to back its funds by insurance now looking at the user security features here's a list of everything that you can do in your account in terms of security they have two-factor authentication biometric login so you can use like touch id face id on the app on top of 2fa there's a six digit trading password you can view your login history so ip addresses devices you can restrict certain ip addresses email safety phrase and most of these are optional so kucoin is up there i would say it's as safe as any other platform they were 10 million users they've been around for a few years and they've handled the one hack they have very well however that doesn't mean you want to keep all your funds on a crypto exchange because hacks still do happen as you can see in this list right here so even though it's safe to use still be cautious as always obviously now what's it like opening a kucoin account so you don't need any id to get started now if you use the link below or any of the links on the website you'll get a discount on your trading fees up to 10 percent off and this is what it looks like when you're gonna sign up for an account you can do a phone number or just the email in my case i used an email you just enter this and sign up and then you're automatically allowed to trade deposit and withdraw up to one bitcoin per day without having to give them id or anything like that which is why i love kucoin right now at the time of this video it's very laid back and it's offered in more than 190 countries right now where you can just sign up and not have much kyc without verification there's one bitcoin you can withdraw per day which is going to be good for most people and then you can increase that limit to 200 bitcoin withdrawal per day but then you have to verify your account once you get started you're going to have your account which looks like this and you have different accounts here your main account trading account margin etc so whatever features you want to use you have to transfer assets into that account so if you deposit crypto let's say which is this tab here you can choose whatever coin you want so let's say you want to send over bnb you would just click that read through these risks and stuff and then you would get your address and you can just deposit it and you can select any coin as well and by default it'll go into your main account if you want to trade for example then you have to send it to your trading account it's free to transfer in between accounts you just click this transfer button and you can just click from main account to trading account or whichever account that you want to use and then it would instantly transfer over for free there's no cost or anything like that i was a little confused at first but you have to transfer it from the main account to the trading account and my account is unverified i'm in canada and if we go to like my deposit and withdraw history just
just to show you here is my withdrawal history so i have withdrawn usdt and i have an unverified account which is pretty awesome so who knows how long it's going to be like this laid back for but in general that's how you open an account you can start with just email address if you want to get verified you can but you don't have to okay let's move on to deposit and withdrawals for kucoin so if we look at the list here here is kucoin you can deposit crypto for free that is standard they have zero fiat wallet currencies so you can buy crypto using their instant buy but it automatically converts to crypto so you can't actually hold canadian dollars us dollars or any fiat currency in your account and that means you can't cash out either so you cannot withdraw fiat currency or hold it in your account you can only use it to buy crypto using their third party or fast buy which i'll go over in a second so they have zero fiat wallet currencies they do have 30 plus instant buy currencies and the payment options are credit debit peer-to-peer -peer exchange and some other third party options now since kucoin doesn't operate with fiat wallet currencies i think that's why they're able to offer the lenient kyc because they don't integrate the banks and stuff like that now if we go to the actual kucoin platform they have the fast buy peer-to-peer -peer exchange and third party so fast buy and third party are very similar but let's say i want to buy usdt these are the 30 plus currencies that you can use at the moment so i'm in canada let's say i wanted to buy a thousand dollars of usdt it would instantly convert my canadian for usdt and the fees get pretty expensive so they'll range from 1.8 percent up to like six percent and there could be extra fees on top of that through my credit card provider and sometimes credit cards will block these purchases because it's cryptocurrency the third party just integrates with like banks uh, and a couple third party services these are very expensive i do not recommend using these unless you have like literally no other option and then they have the peer-to-peer -peer exchange which i have not tested personally but this could be an alternate way to get your funds into the platform so in canada you have interact e-transfer which is popular and then you can filter your currencies here if you do australian dollars they don't have many sellers here if you have us dollars so it all depends on what country you're from but this could be another alternative to look into if you don't have a local exchange that connects to your bank account so in general a lot of the global exchanges don't have the best funding and withdrawals with fiat currencies and if you want to cash out of kucoin you have to withdraw crypto to a local exchange that supports a bank account in your country so if you're in canada you would have to withdraw your crypto to like newton shakepay or endax one of those platforms if you're in australia you'd have to withdraw crypto to swiftx or digital surge so keep that in mind if you want to cash out of kucoin and the best way to fund your kucoin account and avoid these expensive deposit fees is just to have a local exchange as well like the ones i just mentioned and just buy crypto on those exchanges and then send it to kucoin and send it out of kucoin that's the best way to use it cheaply if we look at the crypto withdrawal fees they are relatively average so here we have bitcoin withdrawal fees and ETH withdrawal fee. And if we just filter from cheapest to most expensive, you can see KuCoin. It's kind of right in the middle here. Well, it's actually tied for sixth place with all these other platforms. And I would say it's the same thing with ETH. Okay, let's take a quick look at KuCoin's fees and how it compares to everywhere else. Overall, it's a very competitive platform when it comes to fees. If we filter by trading fees, KuCoin has a 0.1% trading fee, which is definitely on the competitive side. It's the same as Binance. Uh, but the other thing that matters is their spreads and their trading volumes, because that's where a lot of hidden fees can come into play. And if we go to coin market cap exchanges and we see binance is a top cryptocurrency by trading volume in the world you scroll down kucoin is number 12 in the last 24 hours they've had 2.4 billion dollars traded now this isn't always 100 percent accurate on coin market cap but it does give you a good idea on comparing and you can see the volume here so they do have very low spreads when i tested it as well so that's good they have low trading fees and low spreads you saw the instant buy fees are very expensive so it's not good for funding and withdrawals crypto withdrawal fees are average which i covered just before this section and if we go into the account here you can see that these are the tiered trading fees so the more you spend the lower the fees get you can also get 20 percent discount if you have kcs in your account you can also get another 10 percent discount just by signing up with my link below you'll get 10 percent off your trading fees forever so definitely take advantage of that and that's how you can save a lot on the fees if we click on futures quickly these are the maker taker fee rates here and those are the fees for kucoin overall very competitive with other platforms now if we look at just coins and we filter this from top to bottom kucoin has 500 plus coins which is second place right now so obviously there's over 10,000 cryptocurrency on coin market cap so 500 isn't a lot but as far as these centralized exchanges go 500 is a lot for what they offer so that's second place for kucoin and these are the 500 cryptocurrencies that you can find and you can filter for metaverse nft projects DeFi, and you can just do all usdt pairs and you can obviously just scroll down for quite a while because there are so many coins now number of features is 20 plus so if we filter this this is just all the stuff you can do on the platform so if you can do like spot trading margin trading if they have an app if they have lending borrowing nfts like that all counts as a feature i added those up and kucoin has 20 plus things you can do on the platform which is on the higher end if you look at coinbase which is a very popular platform they only have 10 plus features there's not a whole lot you can do binance gate.io are at the top like binance for example is like the 
Amazon for crypto. They just offer so much things you can do. However, they restrict some of these features in some countries, whereas KuCoin is pretty open to every country because of their laid back KYC. So this is their list of features and everything you can do. So for buying and selling crypto, there's many different ways you can purchase crypto. You have the fast buys, credit card, debit card, peer to peer trading desk, spot trading, margin trading, futures and trading bots. If we look at the trading bots, there's a lot of YouTube videos on people trying this and they have a lot of views, but basically they have five different types of trading bots. At the time of this video, over 5 million bots have been created. And these are basically just automatically trading based on the crypto volatility. And you can have just an automatic computer that trades this. So this is very interesting, something I wanna check out. That's the trading bots. Of course, KuCoin has their own token called KuCoin token, and you can earn rewards using that in different ways. For example, there's the KCS bonus. If you hold at least six KCS KCS in your KuCoin account, you earn a daily bonus. The reward comes from the trading fees that they make on the platform and they share those fees with you. They have KuCoin Earn. So this will be like your DeFi, your staking, your yield farming, different interest rates where you can start earning crypto. So that looks like this. They have different promotions, tons of different APYs, savings account. So you can save and withdraw whenever you want. You have 8% yield, staking. You can click more to see everything that they're offering. So you can filter these from top to bottom. They have the redemption periods, they have savings, different tabs here. So you can play around with that. There's just definitely a lot of options you have. They have the mining pool. So this is another way to potentially earn yield on your investments. It supports proof of work assets like Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. And there is a 2% mining fee at the time of this video. KuCoin Spotlight is their token launch platform. Now this is a higher risk investment for people who want to find like really early projects to potentially invest in. Now, Binance has something similar and a lot of the big platforms offer these launch platforms where you can get into projects very early. Crypto lending, so you can actually lend out your crypto assets and get paid an interest rate that way. You can also borrow by putting crypto as collateral and then you can borrow funds against it if you need a loan. And then they have like lottery games, futures brawls. You can set custom price alerts, stuff like that. And that's the main features. Now I'll do a quick walkthrough of the actual platform. So if we go to the spot trading, that's gonna look something like this. So at the top of the screen here, you can choose your assets stuff like that and then you have the tabs of all your assets open here which you can close open more etc for the charting tools you have charts integrated with trading view and this gives you lots of like technical analysis tools on the right hand side of the screen you have your order books your recent trades and the prices bottom left you have your assets overview you have your order history and stuff like that which you can filter through these tabs and see everything that's going on and in the bottom right here you have the actual trading thing so another security feature they have is the six digit trading password and I entered my password and as you can see here you have limit orders market orders stop limits and different order types and here's the button where you can pay your fees with kcs and get a 20 percent discount on the trading fees so i have this enabled but you can just turn this on and off now remember to use this you have to have a balance of the kucoin token in your account now that's the trading platform this is like your dashboard where you can see all of your balances i won't go through the entire platform but then you have the navigation at the top this is where you can buy cryptocurrencies this would be the markets tab the trading section so this is where you can access the trading bots and the spot trading etc your direct derivatives, your earn, where there's a bunch of tabs here, more section. And then on these tabs, you have your orders, your assets, etc., your account settings, stuff like that. Now, if we do an app walkthrough, this is what it looks like. Generally, the more features a platform has, the less beginner friendly it's going to be just because it has more features they have to squeeze in. But this is very similar to Binance and OKX. If you use those platforms, they all use a similar layout, which looks like this. This is the home page. Here you have your dashboard, which is fully customizable. So you can put what you want on the home page. And this is basically all the stuff you can do on the platform, as you see now. You can quickly access it. The next tab at the bottom here is markets. And then you have all your coins, which you can find. If I just click on like, let's say Solana, this is what the page looks like. And you have the big buy and sell buttons on the bottom. If we go back, I can click trade in the bottom navigation here. This is what the trading page looks like. And there's different buttons where you can switch. You can filter it to your charts, etc and your assets tab on the last one here, where you can deposit, withdraw, see all of your accounts, etc. I think the web app is obviously easier to use, but the app does work well. Now let's sum up all of the pros and cons from this video into one section. So the first thing is KuCoin has 500 coins. That was the second most out of the exchanges we tested so far. And that leads me into the second pro, which is they have tons of features. So this is the platform you want to use if you want lots of things to do, such as lots of coins, margin, trading, trading bots, futures, and just a whole bunch of things that you can explore. The other thing is they have partial KYC. So I put this in the cons section as well, but KuCoin is very easy to get started with because of their laid back KYC. So you don't have to give them ID, but that also means that they're not licensed and regulated in every country they operate. So just consider both of those factors depending on what's important to you. Next, they have very low spreads and fees, and it's very competitive with the other platforms. Now it's not the biggest crypto exchange in the world by trading volume, but it is up there. And it's one of the biggest that has 
laid back KYC and the trading fees are 0.1%. And overall, it's just a very competitive platform in terms of fees, which is why I like it. Now, no platform is perfect. Let's look at the cons. So it's not beginner friendly. If you've never traded crypto before, this will be confusing to use. The other con is there's no fiat deposit and withdrawals. So you cannot hold fiat in your account. Now, this is the case with a lot of global crypto exchanges. KuCoin is not the place where you want to convert your cash to crypto. That's the place where you want to send your crypto to get access to a bunch of features that these local exchanges don't offer. So the best way to use KuCoin is to deposit and withdraw crypto from it. So for that reason, you're going to need a local exchange that connects to your bank account. Again, if you're in Canada, I personally use Newton. That's the cheapest and best one for me. Overall, this is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. It has laid back KYC, over 10 million users and just tons of features you can use. So overall, this is a great platform for your cryptocurrency needs. It just depends what features you need. Now, what are the best KuCoin alternatives? There's a lot of crypto exchanges out there. In my opinion, I think Binance is the best crypto exchange in the world right now. If they offer the features in your country, then I would use Binance because they have the highest trading volume in the world. They also have lots of coins and lots of advanced features as well. They're basically like the Amazon of crypto. They offer so many features and things you can do. That would be the better alternative to KuCoin. But if you're in Ontario like me or certain countries, Binance is banned and facing issues with regulators. So it might not be applicable to everybody. Another alternative to KuCoin is Gate.io. Now this platform offers 1000 cryptocurrencies, which is the most on this entire list. They do have slightly higher trading fees at 0.195%. They're supported in 190 countries. They also don't have fiat currencies. They do have a lot of features as well. It's, it's on top of the list with Binance in terms of number of features and things you can do. The user interface is not great, but it does have a lot of features and coins on the platform. There is KYC as well that you have to go through, but gate.io is an option that I'm using as well. And there's a lot of good platforms here. I think KuCoin is one of the better options right now for trading crypto. All right, if you want a 10% discount on your KuCoin trading fees forever, use the link below to sign up. And I'll also link everything else I mentioned in this video in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.